Yeah, that, that is interesting. The uh, the fine versus coarse grain and and that, that kind of ties into the activity loops question. I think that I was. It uh, ties into both of the next category up. If we expand yeah. out from those more specific representational possible mechanics, mm -hmm. if we expand up one level, we're looking at one of your other questions or two of the other ones, which is uh, the role of fortune and also slash bounce. Because like I said, certain things that aren't probabilistic can still play the role of bounce as long as you don't know what they're going to be. You know, like person to the left says this is effectively a randomizing mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, so you have those kinds of, of input into play. And then you also have the issue of the activity loops. Both of those are larger categories in which what we just talked about are contained. Because whatever occurs mechanically we need to know where it stands as a piece of an active of a, of a, of a dynamic loop, right? In the diagram. Maybe it's an endpoint and doesn't have an arrow coming out of it, which is okay, depending on what it is, or it is part of something that feeds back into something else. And again, the role of which of those are bouncy and which ones are not. For example, um, in Troll Babe, making a relationship is not bouncy. All you have to do is have a character present when you're involved in some kind of conflict. At the end of that conflict, you can choose to take any eligible person as a relationship. And furthermore, when you are done with uh, that whole adventure, when you show up next time, you decide which of the relationships are still with you. You don't have to, for example, roll to establish a relationship or roll to get rid of it. Right. You just have designated moments in which those are eligible behaviors or operations during play. So, what you do then is then look at what the relationship does do in terms of bounce in Trollbeck. It, um, it, it provides an element of bounce. It improves your chance of success, basically, by providing a reroll when and if you choose to use it. Um, you use it up for purposes of this adventure when you do so. Um, and you also, depending on the situation, can actually put that relationship at risk, you know, killing them off by accident, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so, therefore, we can see in Troll Babe that the precise nature of what relationships are and what their relate their mechanics are and what's not mechanical remember what i said about like the degree is not mechanic is not quantified mm -hmm. we look at that and we see that that actually works very well for purposes of its role in both bounce and in the activity loop in troll babe of what a relationship comes back on and permits you to do when you have it um, which is not just getting re-rolls, there are other things too. So mm -hmm. basically a character is much richer. I mean, really, once you start playing Troll Bay, after a little bit, you suddenly realize that your character is a, is a whole party by herself, mm -hmm. if you want to go that way. So um, if you... Yeah, I mean, you can actually end up, as, as the, the scale of play increases, if you want it to, you can end up basically having a pretty badass warband Right, you know, pretty much its skeleton being formed by your webwork of relationships. Therefore, the precise moment-to-moment -moment quantifications and operations regarding relationships in Troll Babe is actually kind of, I don't want to get too groovy, but it's a fractal. You hop up and scale and look at it in the whole diagram of play. 
then you can see that the mechanics, I think, if I do say so myself, at the micro level are very well suited to play that role at the larger scale. Right. Partly in terms of what they don't include, the things that have been left to your choice. After all, it's been left up to you to decide how intense your friendship is. It's been up to you to then decide later whether to keep it or not. They are not, neither of those has a quantity associated with it. But they are very, very causable. Um, it is not inconceivable that you may have put a relationship like a good friend relationship at risk and they survived, but you end up playing your troll babe, feeling kind of bad that you, quote, had to do that. And yeah. you, after a little bit of thought, you know, you say, okay, next adventure, I'm going to go over to this place. I'll go over to this place, but I'm not going to bring that relationship with me. We parted, we hugged. Right. You know, and so basically you've said as a player, I don't really feel like putting that person at risk anymore. Mm -hmm. Or another player or another relationship that you abandon this way may be simply because you feel the GM who characterizes the relationships through their dialogue. You just don't really like that guy very much after all. Mm -hmm. you know, serve his purpose for his reroll in that particular adventure. You can let that one go. So do you see how the lack of quantification ties into the choices about, and also what is quantified and probabilized, for example, their, the risk to them and its outcome, um, mm -hmm. how those all work together in terms of deciding to keep them or not keep them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, So you should be looking at one of these big activities and then realize that, for example, in if you look at the activity, uh, the, the diagram for the pool or the diagram for nine worlds, good examples, because each of those diagrams does include actually making a role. But the diagram doesn't tell you precisely how the role works. You have to go and read the rules for that. So you go and, but if you went and looked inside, you would suddenly discover that inside the way that the mechanics work is very beautifully suited to what it's doing at this level, this higher, this general, more uh, macro level of play. Um, and the role of probabilities and bounce also is quite important. There are things which it's probably a good thing to say, I don't want that bouncy. You should just be able to say whether she keeps the relationship or not. Yeah. Other things, it's like, well, if you want this, well, let's see if the person to the left says so. No. Or roll a die, which kind of is the same thing. So um, do you see what I mean then about the precise mechanics for IIEE -E and for relationships, both of them? Mm -hmm. What yeah. is and isn't quantified is a bigger, oh, sorry, is part of a bigger picture of the activity loops and of the bounce qualities of play and where they are. Right. Would, would you say that that's another way of referring to dynamics? Uh, yeah, process? this whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of this the, the abstract schematic of the layers of all those topics because they I was reading them and I was like, he's asking the same thing over and over again. And then I realized, no, not quite. But they're related in a structural way that, that could be outlined. 